Hi again, it's Hetz. And today I want to show how to import or create an iSCSI uh, file system inside Overt, which means if you have in storage an iSCSI target, the iSCSI initiator will be Overt, of course. So right now I'm using ZFS on my Linux machine. <coughs> Sorry. And I'm using target uh, to basically uh, create the whole iSCSI layer inside the Linux machine. I'm going in with target CLI. This will help me to configure everything that I need. And a simple LS will show you everything that it needs. Basically, I created a data set inside ZFS, uh, half a terabyte size. That will be um, the iSCSI uh, system for me to install um, virtual machines, files, etc. The, one of the important things is basically after you created um, the IQN uh, for the machine, the Linux stuff, you'll need to connect it and you'll need for that an ACL. And the, here is the ACL. And you'll need the IQN number. Uh, you'll need it. You'll need it from the overt. So you're going to compute hosts. Click on the host, and you'll see here iSCSI initiator name, and that's the name. All you have to do is copy it, and you can, as you can see here, it ends with five six seven. So if we look here, I already added it five six seven. So all I have to do is exit and uh, restart the target service and it will uh, basically read all the parameters and use them. So now that I have it, I can go back. I already restarted it and go to storage domains and it really depends on you. If it's a new iSCSI, you'll need to click on the new domain. If it's an iSCSI that you already used with Overt, you click on import. And click new if you just created it and you need to format it, etc., etc. So since I've used already my Overt, uh, the iSCSI in the Overt, I just click on import. And I'm clicking here, I'm selecting iSCSI. I'm using this host because I have only one uh, host. I call it iSCSI, sorry, iSCSI over it. And iSCSI in over it. All right, now what is the name of the server? That's NAS2. I'll click Discover. It will show it. This is the indeed uh, the iSCSI on the NAS2 machine that I'm using right now. I'm clicking it and I'm clicking Login. Now, if I had the CHAP username and password, it will show here the window and I had to uh, input, uh, insert the username and the password. Since I don't use CHAP, it's only test machine. I can click it here and I'm going down here and I can see that's the volume name. I can click here and since I'm using kernel which is prior to 4 uh, any version 4 in Linux I'll need to remove the discard after delete because uh, my iSCSI in Linux without kernel 4 point something it won't support it. Clicking OK, and you have it here. Now, before you do anything else, click on the tasks and see if everything goes OK. If you'll see it goes green, then everything should be fine. It should take a few more seconds. I'll resume the video when it finishes. And it finished. I'll click close here and you can see as a precaution you just put uh, putting it is inactive all you have to do sorry 
is going to the data center and click activate and it's up now if you used it before with overt and you've installed some vms on your iSCSI you can import them here sorry here in the vm import as you can see i have a machine called gitlab i'm clicking import and i'll use reassign bad, uh, bad max because i didn't uh, create a new pool and nothing here just scroll down click ok and again looking at the task it finished so you'll see the vm import is empty and now that will go to virtual machines you'll see the gitlab machine is being imported clicking run sorry and it's booting if it's green you can just click here on console it will uh, download the vv file which will open to a remote viewer and you can uh, connect and use it and that's it if you want to disconnect an iSCSI make sure you, that you remove any machines it will basically remove you just make sure that any machines that have been installed on that iSCSI are part of or else it, it won't let you and it won't tell you exactly uh, which machines you can look at it here in the storage sorry sorry just the domain if we look here this these are the machines and in this case this is the machine that is stored on the iSCSI so you'll need to make sure it's off before you can basically click here and uh, uh, put it into maintenance mode first detach it second and remove it as the last thing to do for removing this nasty to iSCSI thanks for watching hope you like it subscribe share and i'll see you in the next video